Rashid, it's great having you here at YC 2018 on CMU campus, July 20th. It's a beautiful day. I know you didn't want to be here because it's really gorgeous outside, but since you've been judging, I think you don't want to be elsewhere. You just want to be here. Tell us about the first half of the day. How was the competition? How were the participants? What is your overall feeling? So definitely I'm having a really good day and you know seeing children with such creative ideas and seeing the wonderful project they did. You know children so young as like seven or eight years old they're building so cool projects that you know when I was there I was just watching cartoons and comics. So I couldn't even imagine doing all of this stuff so it's like really exciting and I'm really feeling good about all of this. Yeah. You, you, you use the word cool and I like that word and it seems like uh, spending time with these kids the ambiance that we are in it's a very cool ambiance. It doesn't feel like a competition definitely um, so what uh, so what do you say to the parents that are coming over here with this competitive spirit but you replace the uh, replace the word competitiveness with the word cool how should we look at AI because you're making it so look so easy you are a AI major you are a master student at Carnegie Mellon one of the top institutions in AI so what do you have to tell parents and what do you hope the kids leave this competition with yeah, so first of all, uh, I like the you know competitiveness in the parents. I see that they're motivating the children to pursue AI. Specifically, I'm coming from India where AI is not so much promoted and here I see everyone, you know, even children so young as like 10 years, 11 years, they're getting into AI and they're making such cool stuff. So, you know, definitely it's it's a very good feeling and I would encourage parents to, you know, uh, you know, tell parents to encourage their children to get into AI because this is an upcoming field and definitely, you know, everyone should know little about AI because the future is AI I feel yeah, uh, uh, let's talk about it to learn about AI what do you have to tell educators the parents uh, the participants or the, the kids that are watching this but they were not part of YC 2018 they were not part of ready AI and this initiative that uh, we're doing in co uh, collaborative way with with Carnegie Mellon what do you have to tell them why should they get involved so getting involved in this competition is definitely a good start to get into AI first of all and you know this competition provides a very broad structure to AI like you know interacting with Cosmo, Cosmo is such a cute robot where you actually he expresses emotions, he does a lot of things so you know you don't have to exactly know how the AI things work but you you know just you can program it by using Calypso and Cosmo so definitely I would like to encourage parents and students to participate in this you know more and more I would like to see more and more participation of students you are one of our judges you are sitting there you've been listening watching interacting for over three hours with so many kids I think you probably interacted with over 60 70 kids yes, uh, and it's only 12 o'clock so yeah. far uh, tell us a little bit about that interaction so when I interacted with children they were actually you know they knew how the things were working I ref I first thought that you know the parents must have helped them with the coding but they actually knew how everything was going on so one of the projects was basically a hospital project, hospital based project where you know um, they, you know, the Cosmo entertains the patients in the uh, hospital, and I really like that uh, project because it incorporated every aspect of the AI, and they could actually figure out and you know tell us exactly where, where that aspect of AI is in that particular code. So that was pretty interesting, and they were like 12 years old. So you know, back then I couldn't imagine myself doing that. So it was definitely very exciting to see all of this. That is fantastic, especially coming from you, who's an AI major at Carnegie Mellon, one of the top institutions in your country we're really happy to have you here definitely. we certainly hope you'll be part of this not just this year definitely but in years to come is there anything else that you would like to tell our audience our uh, parents our educators uh, not just in the United States because uh, uh, we have uh, participants from all the over Middle the world, East, yes. from Asia from elsewhere so really this is global what do we have to tell to, uh, to our global audience about YC and about um, in a way being part of this as as this event evolves years after years mm -hmm. so first of all I would like to encourage all the parents and students to take part in uh, you know part in this event this is such a nice event in which they are promoting AI among such young children and they you know uh, they have such creative ideas so I would definitely you know encourage and push every child every parent to you know participate in this event for in the future years I would encourage more participation from my own own home country like which is India and definitely um, I'm really having a good fun and definitely I would like to be a part of this event every year. You bet, Rashid, we're going to be part of this. We would love to see as many children in schools in India to be exposed to this. As you said, they won't. I know they're not playing with computer games like you did or I did when we were younger, but we really want them to be part of this. There, this is a global agenda.
agenda. Carnegie Mellon has made it a global agenda to educate, to spread the knowledge, and to increase awareness about AI. Definitely. And it is not as intimidating as it sounds like. It Am is I not. Right? It is not. It is not that intimidating. Very good to have you Thank here. Thank you. Thank you Looking for having me Looking forward to see you at 4.30. Definitely. Thank you. Thank you.